welcome to Maths Live. It feels so long now going from a Thursday all the way across to a Tuesday from doing a live lesson. So it's quite bizarre, but always looking forward to being back on a Tuesday. Uh, we've got Hi Sam in Nottingham, um, Imogen in Denmead, we've got Aoife, um, we've got Harlick in Coventry, and I'll do some more in a second. I know a lot of you year sixes have gone back to school and you've said you're going to still catch up. So I want to do a special shout out at the start of the lesson to all you year sixes who are back at school, I hope it's going well, and who said you'll catch up on YouTube, so hello. <laughs> um, here's your starter challenge. Follow the arrows, and you start with 39, do all these instructions, what is the answer you come up with? Uh, I'll give you a little bit of a go at that, I'll give you a couple of minutes, because it's quite tricky, and then we'll get started on addition. Hi, Harry in Essex. Hi Annabelle, hi Sharia and Coventry, welcome back. Hi Olivia in Warwickshire. Hi Bridge, hi welcome back Bridge. Hi James. All got an answer. Hi Katie. Hi Harry. We've got someone who thinks they have the answer. Hi Ava. So yes, I know not all year six is a back, but it was a, a cluster of people that I had that I was tutoring locally and were on the uh, in the watch maths live nearly every day. So obviously they can't watch it live if they're at school, but I know not all year six is a back and um, depends where you are. But I'm still here. <laughs> right, so let's get started. So walk, work through it one step at a time. So 39 plus 9, first step is 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48. And I would always make a note of it, so I'm at 48 now. One quarter of it, if I'm finding a quarter of 48, that means I need to split it. By four, it is divided by four. So how many fours are in 48? 12. 12 fours are 48. So we've got 12 now. 12 times 3. 1 12 is 12. 2 12 is 24. 3 12 is 36. 36 divided by 9. 1 9 is 9. 2 9 is 18. 3 9 is 27. 4 9 is 36. Then we need to do 4 squared. For 4 fours, 16. 16 plus 5 is uh, 21, the brain freeze then. 21, how many sevens are in 21? So we have to divide it by seven. So three sevens are 21. Then we times that answer by eight. So one eight is eight, two eight is 16, three eight is 24. And then we another quarter, so a quarter of 24. So we, again, we divide that by four. So one four is four, two fours are eight, three fours are 12, four fours are 16, five fours are 20, six fours are 24. So my answer? is six. Let's see how people did. Ah, let's have a look. Hi Daisy and Georgiana in Hertfordshire. Hi Katie. Oh, well done. Yeah, I got some answer. Um, got a question. The big test was last week. So if you've joined in for the big test answers, go on to YouTube. After this lesson, go on to YouTube and all those lessons were last week. They're easy to pick up. So Today it's addition. Some of you thinking, what? Some of you who have been here from the very beginning might be thinking, well, we did addition. Addition was the very first topic I did in Maths Live over three months ago. And why I've picked to do addition this week, and so what well, addition and subtraction, is because the main reason is because those very, very first videos, I had a board here and it was tiny and the picture quality was awful so I thought I'm just going to redo those lessons so that if you need help with addition you've not got those really blurry lessons with a tiny tiny board you've got a much clearer board hopefully a much clearer step and, it, and addition and subtraction is always a good thing to practice because it's in all different parts of maths so I'll do some practicing I'll do some modeling first then I'll go to the four challenge questions today normally it's three I gave you four and then I'll give you some extra challenges so, 
column addition as well. So what's good about column addition is with adding, it doesn't matter which number goes on top or which on the bottom. It obviously does matter in subtraction. We'll come back to that um, end of the day. But so if I show you an example, I'm going to do quite big numbers um, just because I know a lot of you are in year four and year five. But I will show you the method gradually, so bear with me. So for example, you might have 682 plus 147. So make sure you line it up really clearly. The easiest thing to do is squash your numbers together too much and you're not sure what you're adding. So we've got our ones, tens, hundreds, three digit numbers. So we do two plus seven, which is nine. Four plus eight, so eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, because we've got twelve as a two digit number, we need to split it and regroup it. So we, the two stays, the two in twelve stays, and the one is regrouped to the next column. Now, I tend to put my one there. But I've seen in other places, in other schools, other pupils, sometimes they regroup their one to there. That's great. Sometimes they put it on top there. No problem. It's wherever you, as long as you know the method, it doesn't matter where your regrouping goes. So I'm going to put mine there. Don't forget it. Okay? It's, you'll see from the challenge questions how important it is. Because if you do just six plus one, you're not going to get the right answer. So six, seven, eight. 829. So that question had one lot of regrouping. I'll show you another one with just one lot of regrouping. So I might have 328 plus 449. So 328, 449. As you can see, 449 might be the bigger number. But with addition, I don't have to put it on top. You can put it on top if you like. If you want to switch them around, if you'd like it, that, that's always on top to help you with the subtraction, that's fine. So nine, eight, nine and eight. So nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Okay, 17, two digit number. So we have to split it. Keep the ones there, the seven and the teen one goes to the next column. Then we do two plus four plus our one. So two plus four is six plus our one is seven and three plus four. Seven, seven, seven. Oh, that's weird. Didn't mean for that to happen. Now, some of you will be watching going, oh, this is easy. So now I'm going to take it up to higher key stage two when there's multiple regrouping throughout the question. So you might have a number like 786 plus 495. You can do this at the same time as me, that's absolutely fine. Now, as long as you take your time and understand the regrouping and are able to show it clearly and remember to add it, you can do any size of adding add addition numbers. So six, plus five, that's 11. So remember, 11, we need to split it up now. We keep our ones, and then the tens digit goes across. Eight plus nine plus one, so, so it's two, so eight plus nine plus one, that's 18. So keep our eight, carry that one across. Then we've got, now careful here, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Now you might think, well, do I put the two there and then the one down there? I mean, you can do because it will still just mean 12. So in the last one, if you've got a two digit number as your answer, you simply put it as your two digit. So 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and you've now gone into the thousands. Okay. Let's try a bigger number. Okay, I'm going to go into five digits now. 5,684, I'm just putting my column just to show you there, plus 3,472. Uh, 
So go on ones, tens, hundreds, thousands. There's no rushing, okay? You never need to rush in maths. Take your time. The accuracy is more important than getting it right quickly. So four, five, six, please. Eight and seven. Right, we're going to have to regroup here, okay? Uh, so that's 15. So your five goes there. So if you split your 15, your ones and your tens, the one stays in that column and the one goes across. I'm going to put it in here for now because there'll be people saying, oh, I always put it on top. Steph, will you do it when it's on top? Yeah, of course I will. I'll show you that. Don't always have to do my method. Six and four, four is 10 plus one is 11. And then five plus three is eight plus one is nine. So it's 9,156. Okay. So it, you might be really, really good at it. That's great. You might just forget to put the regrouping across. You might remember to put the regrouping across, but then forget to add it in. So just take your time. Okay. So here are the challenge questions. I'm going to do them two at a time. For those of you who don't know about the challenge questions, norm, they used to be posted at 10 o'clock each morning before the lesson. They still are, but all of them are now put on my page on a Monday at 10 o'clock. So you can work through all three challenge questions for the three days of my slide and one go on Monday. Here are your two questions. Um, I would check them if you've already done them. So question one was 451 plus 327. And question two was 13,487 plus 4,589. Okay, those were your two questions. Have a go at them, I'll give you a minute or so, maybe a little bit longer. If you already had a go, check, check, check. Oh, well done everybody. Super. I love it, so you're all getting similar answers. I'll just check in. Brilliant. Hi, Eloise. Hi, Isaac and St. Ives. got some answers coming in now it'll be interesting if you put your answer in to see what other people got you might think hang on I've got a different answer to that person maybe I should check well done Lachlan for putting your answer in don't worry it's not frozen I'm just on the, on the computer well, there seems to be some similar ones so I'll give you 20 seconds Hi Joel, age 11 in Bristol. Okay, let's have a look then. You all seem pretty confident and I like that. So let's put this into our column. Started off with quite a nice easy one. So one plus seven is eight. Five plus two um, is seven. Oops. And four plus three is also seven. So the answer to question one, seven, seven, eight. Well done, I saw a lot of you got, got that. Oops, stay still, stay still. Next one, seven plus nine. Right, this is where the regrouping starts. So seven plus nine is 16. I've got my under thing there. I'll put it on top. Uh, two eight is 16 plus the one is 17. Okay. Four plus five is nine plus the one is 10. 3 plus 4 plus 1 is 8, and then you've got your 1 left over, which is 18,076. Well done. Now that second one required a lot of regrouping. So well done. 
Doing that now. Next two, not just simply addition. They are more problem-solving questions. So, I gave you this question. Eight, nine, five, six, three, plus four, something, five, something, nine, equals two, two, something, three, something, something. Okay, so that was question one, you had to fill in the gaps. And then question two was that Sally had made a mistake in her calculation. And her calculation was two, eight, three, seven, plus nine, seven, one, four. And she gave the answer. 12,541. I've told you there is a mistake. Can you spot not only what is the mistake, but how did she make it? So as well as just maybe circling the number or something like that, explain what she did wrong. If you can. Don't have to explain to me by typing it, explain and to another adult in the room or a sibling. Well done, yeah, you got the, I love it when you're all excited getting them correct. <laughs> Hi Amelia in London. Hi George, thank you for joining in. So first question, working out what are the missing numbers. Start with the ones, add the three and the nine, think right, what, what happens with that? It's gone very quiet on the feed, so I think you're all there. Uh, <laughs> We've all got some answers. All oh, Lachlan's got an in explanation. Anyone going to add an answer with Loughlin? Okay. Oh yeah, that's what I'm saying. A couple of you saying, oh no, I didn't get it right. Don't worry about it. That's all part of the learning process. Yeah, some people I tutor, they say, oh, I didn't get it right. I say, well, if you're gonna get every question right that I ever give you, there's no point me tutoring you, is there? It's good practice, okay? So, this one, this is a tricky question. As you know, in math, when I do the challenge questions, they get gradually harder and harder. So, just, so nine plus, uh, nine plus three, so nine, 10, 11, 12. So the answer to this column is 12. So our two is already there. Now imagine that the one, I would make sure you put the one because it's not showing you the regrouping. So do it yourself. So we need an answer that has a two in its ones. Now we've got six, okay? And then we've got one, that makes seven, but we want one with our two. So that makes you, you need to have the answer 12 for this one again. So we've got 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So it must be 5. Now if you check it here, 6, 
7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. You can see you have to add in the regrouping yourself. Now, because it's 12, carry the 1 again. Now, here, it's 5 and 5, which is 10, plus the 1, which is 11. So we've got another 1 to carry across. Now, we want a number that's got 3 in it. So we've got 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So if we add 3, that will give us 13. Check. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Always double check. We've got another 1 here. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. There's a lot of 13s, isn't there? Oh. <laughs> and then, so then the 13 goes there. So 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, so the 1 and 3 go in this column. So the answer is 133,122. It is a tricky one, that. Um, again, if you were in year 3 and year 4 and that was completely bamboozled, you don't worry. At least you've seen it now. You'll have seen it and then you'll see it at school sometimes. Think, oh, I saw that on my slide with Steph. This one, let's uh, get the ball rubber. What has Sally done wrong? What has Sally done wrong? The best way to find out what Sally has done wrong is to try the question yourself and then compare your answer with her answer. So let's have a go ourselves. So we've got 2,837 plus 9,714. I can just see this swinging in the background. It won't stay still. It's got a mind of its own. <laughs> so 7 plus 4 is 11. 3 plus 1 plus 1 is 5. 8 plus 7, okay, it's 15, and then 9 plus 2 plus 1, 9, 10, 11, 12. So let's compare our answers. 1, 2, 5, 4, 1, 1, 2, 5, 5, 1. Hmm, I've got a different number here than Sally has got here. What has Sally done? She has forgot to add this number from the regrouping into a column. What she's done is gone three plus one is four, and she's missed out that one that was re regrouped. I saw that on the feed, loads of you were writing that, so well done. Good, right, challenge time. So you're all in the same boat now, because none of you will have seen these questions. I'm gonna try and bounce it out. I'm gonna give you three questions and build them up gradually. Okay, so question one, we do 432 plus 155. Actually, we do two quote times questions at a time. And number two is three uh 3487 plus uh 2844. Off you go. Fantastic, really good explanation guys. Oh wow, I've got an answer for the first one already. Amazing. Coming in, oh, similar answers, some slightly different. You're very quick. Let's find out then. Change pencils really quick. So this one, two plus five, seven. 
3 plus 5 is 8, 4 plus 1 is 5. Nice and easy. Good. Now, 7 plus 4 is 11. And then we've got 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. We carry the 3 and the 1. And then we've got 1 plus 4, which is 5, plus 8. So 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. A lot of, I've got a lot of 13s carrying today. <laughs> and then 3 plus 2 plus 1 is 6. So 6, 3, 3, 1. Right, last two questions of the day. I think I have to challenge you guys a little bit more. So question 3. I'm going to do 14,587 plus... Uh, 21,672 and then question four I'm going to do as 22,378 plus uh, 19,999 <laughs> Give those a go. You can do it, just take it one place value at a time. Don't look at the whole number, one at a time. Got some answers coming in. Got some sim similar answers. Oh, just one. Good when you get the same answers and then someone's just maybe one or two out and you think oh is it me or is it them it doesn't matter who it is as long as you work hard to get the answer right let's have a look so seven plus two is nine eight plus seven well two eight is sixteen so take away one that's five i've got a habit now of putting the, the carrying on top <laughs> just from showing two ways five plus six plus one is twelve i put my little comma in there 4 plus 1 plus 1 is 6, and 1 plus 2 is 3. 3, 6, 2, 5, 9. Let's have a look. 3, 6, 2, 5, 9. Brilliant. Well done. All right, the last question. <gasps> Lots of 9s in here, but don't let it put you off. So we've got 7, 1, and then we've got the same number, 17 again. I'm, I don't know if I'm doing it differently there. That's it. You did consistency there. So 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. That 13 striking again. <laughs> 9, 10, 11, 12. One there. And then we've got 1, 2, 3, 4. So 42,377. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. 40, yeah. 
Well done team. Fantastic. So tomorrow we're going to be back, um, we're going to be doing column subtraction. So same method with regrouping, but obviously we've got to, we're not um, taking it across, we're stealing and bringing them back to help us with our column subtraction. We're going to put a challenge question up, the challenge questions about this week. So as soon as I log off, stay on the page, have a go at the challenge question, inbox me your answers. And I'll see you tomorrow for Maths Live. Thank you very much. Well done. Bye-bye.